Hello YouTubers, welcome to my NASAC YouTube channel. This video is going to continue my psychotic secret server lab. We are going to talk about proxy, uh, RDP proxy. As you can see the diagram, this is normal diagram. You can see if, without using the proxy lab client machine launch that HTTPS session to Psychotic Secret Server and uh, do the launcher, RDP launcher, then client machine gonna open the RDP session to target server directory. With RDP proxy enabled on a Psychotic Secret Server, the client machine gonna open RDP port to Psychotic Secret Server port 3390 and then psychotic seek server gonna open RDP to target server and then build the session. So all sessions gonna go through psychotic seek server. So we're gonna test that. Before we enable SS uh, RDP proxy, let's take a look at the traffic. So we can use AD admins. We can log in. RDP launcher. We cannot check that stated the port at this moment we don't have a 3389 session we can launch the RTP session to our domain controller there's a warning message about certificates we can Continue. We should be able to see the port 3389 has been opened. It's open from 192.168.2.41 to 192.168.2.12.3389 port. Now we can enable RTP proxy. Go to proxy, go to RTP proxy, click edit, enable RTP proxy. So you can see RTP proxy port 3390 has been enabled here. That's a default port 3390, but you can customize it. Um, don't forget uh, we need to reboot uh, the server. Usually when you make the changes, you need to reboot it. So as you can see, we start in the RDB proxy server service, bind the port 3390 to the IP address 0, .0, .0, .0, 0.0.0.0 and it's requesting a restart restart of RDP proxy server. One thing, if you didn't do that, you may want to bind in uh, interface uh, IP as host IP into this configuration, proxy configuration. So the endpoint, you know there's a secret server is running on a proxy, RDP proxy service. So we're going to reboot the server, RDP uh, proxy server, which is our secret server. And then we will continue the next step. Our secret server has been rebooted. Um, we're going to go back to our 192.168.2.41. We're going to log in using our local admin, NASSEC, to log into say, say, uh, psychotic secret server. Gonna double check the secret. 
in AD admins. We're using admin2. Just make sure enable the pro proxy here. There's no outbound connection. There's a one inbound connection which I'm using. So that's okay. So we're gonna do RTP launcher. So which is going to use in RTP proxy to remote login to 192.168.2.12. Based on our diagram, So we gonna use in port 3390 connecting to psychotic server and the psychotic server gonna connect into remote uh, target server here to trial. Let's see how it goes. Always allow yes, open RDP. So we already installed it, so we can cancel that installation. Just waiting the RDP launcher to launch the RDP session. So the session is supposed to go to secret server on port 3390. Okay, so remote desktop connection. There's an unknown publisher, it's okay. And there's a certificate warning message, that's okay. So you see we connect into 192.162.243. But if you look at this machine, this machine is 192.162.12. And using admin2, log into DC1, 192.162.12. But uh, you can see our RTP session is 2192.168.2.243, which also can be confirmed from this port 3390. 192.168.2.41 is connecting to our secret server 243's 3390 port. If we go back to 192.168.2.243 here, let's check up. To the connection. Let's find out 3389. There's a must be a session go to 12, 3389. Yes, 192.168.2243 go to 2.12, 3389. That confirms we are using RDB proxy this feature to connect into remote. We are not directly from the client to the target server. That's how RTP proxy working and how we can enable this feature, how to test it, uh, how to test it and how to verify it. We also can go to admin proxy in RDP proxy to look at the logs. If there's anything wrong with RTP proxy service, then you will see some notes from here. There's another way to RDP proxying over SSH tunneling. This is the diagram about it. The first two steps are the same. The third step is going to be SSH to psychotic secret server. And then the fourth step for this traffic will be RDP on its own port 127.0.0.0.1 3389 
actually that traffic can encrypted into the uh, SSH tunnel. And then the last step gonna be psychotic secret server goes to the target server using regular RDP port. Let's test it and see how it's gonna be configured. Go to admin proxim. So there's a SSH tunneling need to be enabled. When you enable SSH tunneling, I already did that. Um, you have to disable RDP proxy, so they cannot be coexisting in one of them tunneling or in RDP proxy. Since we already test RDP proxy, we're gonna turn it off. We're gonna test SSH tunneling. Once we enable that, then we can right away to testing just as we did before. Go to admin two. Make sure security policy enable that proxy. Then we can launch. Before that, we want to. There's a no twenty two port. There's no three three eighty nine to our secret server or either to our target one nine two one six eight two to twelve. So we're gonna launch the session or RDP Okay, connect it. Yes. You can see this RTP session's name is 127.0.0.1. That means it's going to local. Our sessions opened 3389 to 127.0.0.1. But if you look at the machine, it is our 192.168.2.12. It's our destination. It is our DC server. And we are using admin two logged in. And we also can see where it's connected from actually. We just check 3389 port. You can see it's coming from 192.168.2.243. It's established that session. And also we can verify it from here. Two dot two four three of secret server connected. That's uh, that's my session actually. This will be two dot two four three to two dot twelve three three eighty nine. That's the session already been established from secret server to remote destination. How about the local? Let's look at the local. What we can see, minimize needs. Previously, we couldn't find any 22 port, but now we see from 2.41 has a 22 connection to the, our secret server, which is our SSH tunnel. Let's look at diagram again. This is this is a tunnel SSH tunnel. How about 3389? Is there any 3389? <laughs> There's no 3389. It didn't go out because it go to in itself. The traffic already be encrypted into the tunnel. So you won't be able to see anything. This 3389 is my connection, uh, my RDP connection from my machine to this uh, client machine. That is another way you can do RDP proxying using SSH tunnel. I hope this video is helpful for you to understanding the SSH tunnel and RDP proxying 
and SSH proxy. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Thank you.